Do you have what it takes to complete this impossible quiz that 99.99% of people fail? From solving Garden of Ban Ban riddles to answering mind-blowing quizzes with shocking twists, these videos will put your brain to the test. Watch until the end to see what happens when Lanky Box gets trapped in a scary snake hotel. Let's go! And let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this school teacher riddle. Okay, okay. okay now this one gets pretty sad. Okay, Why? ready? PE teacher Mike worked in a school. Okay, hey, there's Mike. Yeah, he chilling. Mike yeah. chilling. It is you. He was a professional football oh, player. Oh, he big chilling. Look at him okay. go. Yo, boom. But then he got injured. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not good. He had little choice but to work as a teacher. Okay. Mike became a completely different person. Okay. He was always angry and rude. Okay. His wife left him and he was all alone. Mike was proud of his past. Yeah, okay. That's cool. That's cool. He dusted his trophies almost every day. That's cool. Yeah. The children and teachers hated him and his lessons. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, that guy kind of looks like me. <laughs> okay. One morning, the kids found Mike knocked out in his office. <laughs> Are you serious? Detective Smith arrived at the scene of the crime. He was poisoned. Why? We found a poison in the cleaner. What cleaner? The trophy cleaner. What? The detectives interrogated all the teachers. Okay. Now, the math teacher said, I was in class with the fifth graders. Okay, yeah. The chemistry teacher said, this is my first day. I haven't even met Mr. Stiller. Uh-huh. Okay. They hired me instead of the teacher who has just retired. This teacher said, I've just come to hold a lesson. And this guy said, he was my colleague. I respected him very very much. Okay, okay. Who poisoned Mike? Okay, so <laughs> he was a soccer player. He failed Dude. and became a PE teacher. Dude. He was cleaning his trophies and they found poison in the cleaning bottle that he was using to clean his trophy. And you have to figure out who did it. Can we back up? What was the whole point of that entire backstory? <laughs> Other than to depress me? <laughs> to make you feel sad for him. Why does that matter? Because now you want to figure out who poisoned him. You want to <laughs> redemption him. I do have a few things to help you with this riddle. I I want you to pretend like you are Mike and maybe if you get inside his mind you'll be able to figure it out. Okay. Instead of solving the riddle like a normal human being, I'm gonna reenact Mike's entire <laughs> life. Here we go. Okay. Alright, I'm Mike. I'm a pro soccer player. Yeah. Let me do a bicycle kick. Oh, 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 okay. I'm injured. Oh, I can't play anymore. I gotta be a PE teacher. Okay. I'm with the students. I'm Everyone with the hates you. The students don't like them. <laughs> They're beating me up. <laughs> I have to go home and dust my trophy. <laughs> Now that you have relived Mike's life, do you know who poisoned you? Now that I have done that entire reenactment, I have absolutely no idea <laughs> why you had me do that. <laughs> now, right away, I noticed that there are two chemistry teachers. Uh-huh. That's a red flag. Something's wrong there. There can only be one chemistry teacher. Maybe the school has a lot of kids that want to be scientists, so they have to have two different teachers. Possible? <laughs> The math teacher, I was in class with the fifth graders. That sounds totally true. Chemistry teacher, this is my first day. I haven't even met Mr. Stiller. They hired me instead of the teacher who was just retired. Chemistry teacher, I've just come to hold a lesson. One of them's lying. The dance teacher, he's chilling. So you think it's one of the two chemistry teachers? It has to be. Because there's two chemistry teachers. Yeah. Who do you think looks more suspicious? The blonde woman or the brunette woman? I'm not going to judge them by their appearances. I'm okay. going to read closely. This is my first day. I haven't even met Mr. Stiller. They hired me instead of the teacher who just retired. I've just come to hold the lesson. I think she just retired. She lied. She's back at school for no reason and I don't understand why she would do this. I'm Wait, was she earlier in the- Whoa! Dude! I'm a- Jesus! <laughs> the children and teachers hated him. There she is. She's the only teacher that doesn't like him. She hates him. It was her. Dude! Or it was- it was not me. She was retired and then came back for no reason to poison him. Thank you. I will now accept my Oscar for big brains. Do you have a trophy room like this with pictures of yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All for what? Points. Competitive speed eating. <laughs> you know? Okay, let's see what the answer is. The answer is the chemistry teacher. She is retired and she has no classes. Let's go. I got Dude. that right. Okay, Justin got that one right. And we're going to run in the next riddle right now, which is who is Rich. Who's rich? Okay, now there are three people that are in jail. Yeah. And you have to tell me, out of these three people, which one of them is rich? Wait, they're in jail? Yeah. There's a guy on the left uh -huh. who looks like he has like a big meal. Uh -huh. They eat good, but he looks really sad. 
Oh, okay, he looks very sad. Now he, he looks like Voldemort. Maybe this is Azkaban. Dude, I didn't even <laughs> think about that. Is that Draco Malfoy? <laughs> okay, he has a really nice meal. Wait, he also has like shrimp or like yeah, worms? I don't, I don't know what that those? is, worms. It's either shrimp, which would make him rich, or worms, which would make him poor. Uh-huh. Okay, the other guy, this guy has a normal meal, but he's got some blink. He's, he's got also incredibly buff. He's jacked. I don't know how that happens. You should try and hit this pose, Adam. Do well, it. I don't want to like flex on our audience. You have done that many times before. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, get this. I'm on. not even flexing right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, I couldn't even see a difference. What, you want to see me flex? Oh, please, no. Is it even gonna, like, be able to get it all in the camera? <laughs> yeah, we might need to actually zoom out on the camera. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> It's funny because that's actually me flexing. Between these two guys already, who do you think has more money? I mean, I think it's him because he's got the bling. <laughs> he apparently has money for like a personal trainer yeah, in jail. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's rich. Okay, the third guy. He's looking at the muscular dude. Uh-huh. It looks like he has a bottle of some undisclosed drink. It might be like Mountain Dew. Yeah, this is tough, man. I mean, I don't know. They all look rich for different reasons. This guy got a really nice meal. This mm -hmm. guy got the best meal. This guy's jacked and he has bling. And this guy has this bottle, which I don't understand. But dude, it might be soda. Like, do they allow soda in jail? Okay, I'm thinking it's either B or C, but I'm thinking it's C because this bottle, like, he probably paid to have that, like, snuck in jail, you know? Like, that's not safe. Like, you can't have that bottle. He could, like, use it to, like, break something, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. Okay, wait, let me try and help you solve the riddle. Huh? I'll be all three of these guys, and maybe it'll help you figure out who's rich. Okay, okay. First, I'll be guy A. Okay. Okay, so he's bald. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. If you are gonna be the prisoner, we must have some security. Guard master Mr. Kooky has come in. He says, don't move. Yeah. Kooky says, we are now handcuffed together. Don't make any sudden moves. Person A has a big meal. So I got some donuts, some Oreos, yeah. all the good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. But he's really sad. So he's eating like this. But I was supposed to be helping you solve the riddle. <laughs> Cookie says, I have confiscated your food. And now, I am now locking you up and confiscating your food. Yeah. But I'm not done trying to help you solve the riddle. Yeah. Okay, cool. We got a food party. Yeah. So now. So no. So now. No, not so now. now Justin. Now, Cookie Justin. And I have all the food. No, Justin. You're a little bald man. <laughs> to a chair. I'm trying to help you solve this riddle. But you immediately. Immediately just took everything I had and left me with nothing. Googie says that's not true. We're gonna give you some rations. There's one fruit loop for you. That's my dinner? Yeah. You will now watch us eat these Oreos. Can I have another fruit loop? No. <laughs> Can I have that? <laughs> just that. After all that, who do you think is rich? It's honestly got to do with the drink. Because food, you could have food in jail. But to have, like, a special drink, he must have paid for that with money. He must have snuck that in. Cookie, I just asked. Officer Cookie says that's not allowed. He says you can have bling in jail, I think. I don't really know. You can have, like, gold jewelry in jail? Probably. I don't know why not. So you think the richest guy is C because he has, like, a special soda or something that they're not allowed in jail? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what the answer is. The answer is, who is rich? Person oh! C, because these are not allowed in the prison. He must be rich. Let's go. Dude, you were able to figure it out. Okay, Justin got that one right, and we're going to go to the next riddle right now, which is this poison riddle. Oh, no. Okay, now, a couple has just had a meal. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, it looks like a happy couple, yeah, they right? they very happy. Anna offered her husband an apple, but he refused. No. Then, she cut the apple into two. So both ate half of it. Both ate half of it? Yeah, okay, they both they had half the half. apple. As soon as he ate it, he died. He slumped over. <laughs> he took one bite. He said, okay. Yep, that's what happened. Put a, ooh, put a Roblox <laughs> out. He just face forward. <laughs> put the Windows rebooting sound. <laughs> As soon as he ate it, he knocked out. How did she survive? Uh, what? Okay, so that's a riddle. So, <laughs> she offered him an apple. He said no. She cut the apple in half. He ate his half and he knocked out. How did that happen? Because she ate her half too. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to bring in an apple okay. and a knife for you. Okay, let me back this up. A couple just had a meal. Now, I'm analyzing very closely the meal. Uh-huh. She offered him an apple, but he refused. So, she cut it into two and both ate half of it. As soon as he ate it, he died. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, let me try it. Let me do a simulation. Okay. Adam, would you like an apple? Uh, no. Okay, well, then I'm gonna cut it in half. Wow, you're really strong. Oh, oh a little bit mushy on the inside. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the inside of my skull. <laughs> you get eat half. I'm gonna eat half. This apple Yo. went bad about three months ago. <laughs> eat it, Adam. Eat it. It's like Squidward eating the Krabby Patty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He takes just a little bite. Eat it. Oh. Okay. Adam has passed out. Which means only one thing. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking he had an apple allergy. <laughs> Boom, pop. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> if he had an apple allergy, why would he eat an apple? This is a riddle episode. None of this makes sense. It's either an apple allergy or, Adam, you gave away the answer. How? You called it a poison riddle. Oh. Why didn't you just call it an apple riddle? So there is poison involved, but they both ate the apple. I know. He probably ate the apple. Apple seeds and apple seeds are poisonous and she didn't wait apple seeds are poisonous yeah is it because when you eat an apple seed the tree grows inside you okay let's see what the actual answer is the poison was on one edge of the night when she cut the apple only half of it was poison so when she cut it look the poison went on one side not her side <laughs> and <of> my die <laughs> So Justin got that one wrong. Now we're gonna move on to the next riddle, which is this SpongeBob riddle. What? Okay, now all you gotta tell me is whose pet is it? We have Sandy, Patrick, and Squidward. Yeah. And then in the middle is someone's pet. At first glance, I thought that might be SpongeBob in disguise. It is not. <laughs> now it's a bird, it might have to live on land, so I'm thinking it might live with Sandy Cheeks. Okay. okay. I don't think it lives with Patrick, because Patrick lives under a rock. And it would not be able to fly under a rock. Okay, that's very true. And I don't think it lives with Squidward, because Squidward doesn't like things in general. Mm -hmm. I don't think he'd want to take care of it. Wait! It has matching trunks with Patrick. Dude! Is it Patrick's? I'm gonna say it's Patrick, because they have the same shorts. What? To double check, I'm gonna eat this delicious Krabby Patty. It's gonna increase my IQ. Okay. <laughs> Why is so funny? Wait, what do you think the answer is now? Is this how you did so well on the SAT? <laughs> <laughs> What was your score on the SAT? Very high. <laughs> what does SAT stand for? SAT. SAT. Sad. As in, you about to get sad on. <laughs> what was your score on the SAT? Yeah, real high. Really? <laughs> I filled out every bubble. <laughs> yeah. I filled out every bubble. Wait, like the multiple choice? You just filled in every bubble? <laughs> <laughs> No, guys, don't do that. Don't do that. That's a joke. Don't do that in real life. You will not pass. Okay, so whose pet do you think it is? So, before you ate the burger, you thought it was Patrick because they have the same color of shorts. Yeah. After you ate the burger, what do you think the answer is now? Now that your IQ is higher and leaned through all that work. I'm thinking it's still Patrick. <laughs> okay. Doesn't get a lock in Patrick's star as who the owner of the pet is? Mm -hmm. The answer is... Patrick! Because they have the same shorts! Let's go! Dude, okay, let us know if you were able to figure that riddle out as well as Justin. Justin got that one right, and we get on to the next riddle right now, which is... Who is richer? Okay, who's richer? Okay, so there's two guys. You have to tell me which one of the two guys has more money. Okay, so the guy on the left is literally burning dollar bills. He's throwing them into a fire. <laughs> the guy on the right is shopping. Uh-huh. He's got some clothes that say sale on them. Okay, so he's buying stuff it's on sale. Yeah, and he's in a Prada store. I think what the riddle wants me to think is that it's the guy who's looking at the sale. Uh huh. You know, I think that's what they want. And it's like, oh, you know, obviously, you know, obviously this guy's richer because he's got so much money. Right. What if it's a decoy and these are not real dollar bills? Like a fake flex. A fake flex. Like he bought like fake money and then he goes in public and like rumples up the money and throws it away to look really cool. <laughs> but it's actually fake money. I don't really know, honestly. This I'm... guy looks really sad though. This guy looks just straight up depressed. 
you think that's part of it? Like, he has so much money that he wants to, like, burn it because he just wants to get rid of it because it made him so depressed? Wait, you're actually a genius. What if it's not richer, like, materialistic things? What if it's richer, like, spiritual? Like, happiness. Yeah, this guy looks real happy. Look, he's like, I found a nice deal. This guy is depressed. Money cannot buy happiness. So when you get really sad, do you throw money into the fire? Well, when I get really sad, I throw food into my mouth. <laughs> but that's kind of similar. You do that when you're not sad, too, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you demonstrate what you look like when you're sad? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, it's your girlfriend. She just broke up with you. <laughs> I'm going to take my justy bucks uh -huh. and throw them into a fire. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to take some honey bucks and I'm going to throw them into my mouth. Does this make you feel better? <laughs> I don't need to call my girlfriend, honey, because I got some honey buns. <laughs> I think the guy on the left is richer unless these bills are fake and he's got play money and he's doing a fake flex, you know? Like Monopoly money? Yeah, like he's trying to flex on the gram or uh -huh. for TikTok. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be him. Okay, Justin thinks it's A because he's throwing money in the fire. I mean, unless it's play money. The answer is B because it's on sale, but it's Prada. The store he was at is Prada, so if he's shopping there, he has has to be rich. <laughs> but the other guy's throwing money into a fire. I hate these riddles, Adam. Justin got that one wrong. Okay, let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this girl riddle. Huh? Jack lives in a city with lots of different creatures. Okay, okay. One day, Jack's friend took him to a party. The party was for everybody, humans and weird creatures. That's cool. That's an inclusive party. Jack was hoping to find a girlfriend. Oh, okay. There were a lot of girls at the party. Why did you show me a riddle you made about yourself? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not Jack. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I would never uh -huh. be invited to the party to begin with. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Jack liked four girls. Okay, okay. He wanted to talk to one of them. Okay, okay. Who should he choose? You have to pick out which girl would fit best with Jack. Why? How? Why? <laughs> now, Jack is a human. Yeah. So you probably want to try and find the person that is not a creature. So I'm trying to find the girl that he should choose? Yeah. Are you good at giving relationship advice? Oh, yeah. What is your number one yeah. tip for guys that want to try and find a girlfriend? I would say, in general, try to not look like <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Uh, That's mean. Try to not, you know, <laughs> just a normal dude wearing all pink. He looks like uh, a cup... <laughs> Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Now there's a lot of creatures here. They have like vampires. It looks like they have like werewolves, like a bunch of different stuff. Okay, okay. So I need to find out which girl he should date. Yeah. Now the first girl looks like a very nice lady. Uh-huh. But What's with her hand? Is that either a glove and she's dressed up for the party or she has some sort of seaweed, has salad fingers type hands, you know? Seaweed hand? Seaweed hand. <laughs> you know, some sort of algae growing on there. I don't know. Okay. Some sort of shrub. Okay. This lady looks very nice also chatting. What? She got two little red dots on her neck. What does that mean? That could mean she's either a creature or she's a human who's been bitten by a creature. Like a vampire? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, the third lady seems relatively normal. Okay. And the last lady also seems totally normal. <laughs> okay, so you narrowed it down to the last two girls. Who do you think is a better match for Jack? Now, this is a tough one. The one on the left looks very nice. She got a purse. So mm -hmm. maybe she got some monies. Mm -hmm. So maybe Jack needs to get with her. You know, she could give him some money, give him a loan. He could buy some new clothes. Okay. Damn. The one on the right has her phone out. It looks to be in selfie mode. Maybe she is a social media influencer. So you think the fourth girl with the phone is a social media, maybe like a popular YouTuber? Yeah. So he should get with her? <laughs> Let me think of other YouTubers I know. There's us. Yeah, okay, maybe don't go with that one then. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say the third one because she looks just like a normal person and she got... Oh, wait. The last one has sunglasses on inside. That probably tells me something. I think she has the sunglasses on because she has some sort of... She's a creature and her eyes are light sensitive. Okay. Now, I'm gonna give you a little hint. You are not correct. Huh? So I want you to pretend to be Jack. Okay. 
Okay. I have set up four girls here yeah. for you to oh, use. Wow. Now, okay, the first girl, the girl on the far left, yeah. she's got a green thing on her hand. Oh yeah. Like the Billy Beanie. Yeah. May I start by saying all four of you <laughs> very, very attractive. <laughs> lovely, lovely ladies here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, very aesthetic. How about try talking to this one? Very nice to meet she you. She wants to shake your hand. Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so slimy. Okay, okay. But hey, I don't judge. Okay. It's very nice to meet she you. She might be a creature, though. Now, the second girl has some bites on her neck. Okay, got some red dog. Okay, okay yes. maybe try talking to her. Hello? I hope you are a human and not a vampire creature. <laughs> Dude, she tried to bite you. Dude. Would you trust this face? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I would. And now, the third girl. Looks pretty normal. She has the blue on. Looking very normal. Yeah, she cool. Okay, okay you like that yeah, one. And the cool. last girl, she might be the influencer. I miss the old Justy. Now, okay. okay, look at that girl real close. Uh -huh. She is on her phone, has sunglasses on. Okay, she's an influencer. Oh, whipping out the Gucci phone case. Yo, she's flexing. Taking some selfies, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. At first, before we did this simulation, I thought Jack should go with the normal the girl with the purse, uh -huh. but the influencer. <laughs> I miss the old Justy. <laughs> I'm going with the influencer. I'm changing my answer to the influencer. Really? To the simulation. Yes. So you want the hype. I'm trying to get that clout. <laughs> True. True. Okay, now let's see what the answer is. Justin thinks it's the fourth girl. The first girl is a zombie. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> I'm escorting Are you out of the party. Get her out of there. No. The second girl has vampire bites on her neck. Yeah, I knew <laughs> <laughs> She'll turn into a vampire any minute. Hey, okay, get her out of here. Okay, yeah. now we have the two left over, right? Dude, I knew it. Okay, you chose the fourth girl. Yeah. The fourth girl is a ghost. What? She doesn't have feet. What? She was floating. You are, oh, you were right. There's no feet. Oh, no. How are you going to play me like this? <laughs> Which means that the third girl was actually the human. So I had the, the right answer, and then after the simulation, I switched to the wrong answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Justin got that riddle wrong. Are you serious? But for now, we're gonna get into the next riddle, which is this box riddle. Uh -huh. Johnny had an important work project today. Okay. There's Johnny walking yeah, to work. Johnny. He left the house early. Nice. But suddenly, a heavy box crashed onto his head. <laughs> That's the perfect time for a Roblox sound, right when it hits what, them. Why? <laughs> what is this riddle? <laughs> he was rushed to the hospital. Okay, good. The neighbors called the detective oh, no. to find out who threw the box. Why would somebody do that? Brian questioned all the residents of the building. Okay. He started from the ninth floor. Okay. The detective asked them all one question. Okay. What have you been doing for the last hour? What have you been doing for the last hour? <laughs> Trying to improve my dating life. <laughs> it's not working. Mark was up first. Uh -huh. I just came from the store. I bought parrot food. Interesting story, Mark. Susan says, I've been sleeping all day. It's my day off. That sounds real. Susan, not looking the best. She looks tired, Adam. Peter says, I was working from home. Why would I throw a box out of the window? I have better things to do. One of the residents was guilty. Who? One of the three people here threw the box. Oh, wow. It could either I... be Mark with his parrot, yeah. Susan, who was sleeping, or Peter, yeah. who was working from home. Right. Let me think real hard about this. Let me think about this. We're going to do a quick reenactment. Adam, you can play Johnny. Okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead and go for a quick walk. Going to work. Oh, man, I love my life. Ow! 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 Stop it! Now, okay. I will bring down the three suspects. Uh-oh. Now, Jimmy says, I was getting food for my pet. Okay, so Jimmy is Mark. Jimmy Mark. He was Susan. He was sleeping. Yeah, okay, that's so he's accurate. Susan. Yeah, that's accurate. And now Cookie says, I don't even like honey buns. I didn't know who threw a honey buns box at you. Okay, so Peter but is Cookie. Yeah, but how did Cookie know it was a honey buns box? Because you always have honey buns. Oh. I'm thinking it's Peter for obvious reasons. Why do you think it's Peter? This answer is obvious, Adam. Is it because he has a beard? That's 100% not why I oh. think it's Peter. The detective only asked everybody one question. He said, what did you do for the past hour? Why would I throw a box? How did he know it was a box? Oh, yeah. okay. Let's see what the answer is. It was Peter. Brian never said anything about a box. Peter brought it up on his own. Let's go. Cookie 
good. Says, I don't even like iPhones. Why would I throw an iPhone? Yeah. Not that yeah. Yeah. Okay, Justin got that one right. Good job. And we're going to go to the next riddle right now, which is who's not a robot? Who's not a robot? Okay, now there are three ladies here. Oh, man. Oh, Two this, of them oh, are man. a robot. Oh, man. This is kind of like the dating riddle, which is good for me because I am actually the return <laughs> of Robo Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so you think that if you turn into a robot, you might be able to identify other robots in the riddle? Okay, so what do you think about girl A? So she's using an iron. She seems to be ironing some clothes. Wow! The cord? Are you dancing? <laughs> is plugged into her body. <laughs> yeah? Beep, 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 beep. So you think A might be a robot because she's literally powering the iron with her own body? Beep, 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 okay. Beep, beep. Girl number two. Beep, beep. She's stepping in some soup. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just drink some water really quick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, Justin! Justin! <laughs> Justin, Justin, it's okay. Just dry off. Dude, you short-circuited. You were just like the girl in the riddle. Okay, she was stepping in some water, and it looks like she's, like, frying or something, her leg. That means you think it might be the third girl that's the human? What if you're wrong? Looks pretty good. Can you hit that pose? <laughs> so robots cannot hit that pose? Yeah. It's either going to be B because her foot is like steaming in a puddle or it's C because only a robot could have such perfect balance to hit that pose. Also, I feel like uh, only a robot could have knees like that. Yeah. Like, something's up. She, she should see a doctor. Her calves are bigger than my biceps. <laughs> I'm going to go with, I think C is the human. And the answer is, the iron is plugged into her body. Robots don't like water. C, she is not a robot. Let's go. Justin got that one right. And we can go to the next riddle right now, which is this mystery riddle. Huh? Something's happening in the city. Okay. A lot of strange and mystical stuff is going on. It looks like trees fell. Just straight up fallen. Cars are vanishing. What? Enter Inspector Marquez and his dog Cherry. Oh. They don't believe in that mystical stuff. Nope. Well, maybe Cherry believes in it a little bit. <laughs> Why Cherry so thick? <laughs> just okay, Cherry. Say. I'm sure I can even explain the weirdest cases. Okay. Follow me, Cherry. Okay. The first case for today, Mr. Abernathy's warehouse is on fire. Okay. Some cops already detained three suspects. They were near the warehouse when the fire started. Okay. But how did they do it? No matches or lighter anywhere. Must be some kind of magic, says Cherry. Uh, Who's the criminal? Okay, now there are three guys by the warehouse, uh, by the fire. Uh, uh, Who do you think started the fire? This is all the information I get? Yes. Okay, well. And I will give you a big hint. Cherry did not start the fire. Oh, really? No, the dog did not do it. Oh, I thought I knew the answer, but I didn't. <laughs> Let me come in. Inspector Marquez. More like Inspector Mar Chromie. <laughs> and my trusty dog. Not Cherry, but Jimmy. Okay. Yeah. okay. The warehouse is on fire. Now, these boxes are very suspicious. Okay. okay. One of them, he's got a construction hat on. He's moving some boxes. Now, this guy over here looks like a businessman. I don't know. He's got a briefcase. Uh -huh. What if he's got a flamethrower in the briefcase? Maybe. You don't know. Over here, we have just a regular your looking guy. Uh-huh. This is all the information I get? That's all the information you get. Now, this is a tough one. There's no matches or lighters anywhere, uh -huh. but how else could you start a fire? By rapping really good? Uh -huh. Like a fire song. Give us a demonstration. Okay, me and my friend Boxy are chilling here, and I love Justin. Something like that. Oh, that was the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> How else do you start a fire? Maybe you could like tamper with like, I don't know, like a gas line or something in the building, mm -hmm. right? Which one of these three people would know how to do that? Oh, that's I'm smart. thinking it's the construction guy. He's carrying a box. There might be something in the box and he has the knowledge uh -huh. to go do that. Smart. Okay. Let's see what the answer is. The answer is here. He is. What? He used glasses and sunlight to start the fire. <laughs> See? No magic. He was 
the only one that had glasses. And he used them to like point the ray of light at the box and start a fire. Are you trolling? That's dude. how that war was, dude. Yeah. What you mean? You could like make a fire. Like, you know how you can like use a magnifying glass to like condense light and make a fire? Yeah. You can do that with glasses. Dude, you got outsmarted. Ah, now, Jimmy. <laughs> Justin got that one wrong, which means he's gotten two correct, two wrong. This last riddle is going to determine if you win this entire game and oh. get a prize or not. It's make or break. Okay, here we go. We're gonna move on to the last riddle right now, which is this pregnancy riddle. Okay, now, this one's real simple. All you gotta tell me is who's pregnant. Dude. There's two girls. One of them says, delicious. And she's eating a burger. And the other girl says, healthy lunch was good. And she's eating some kind of salad smoothie. I hate you so much, Adam. Is it because you don't think you can solve this? Have you ever had any type of food that is green? Like a salad, maybe some seaweed. I mean, I had some Mountain Dew. <laughs> Does that count? No, that's not healthy. She's eating a burger. Right. So she might have just had a really big meal, feeling a little bit bloated. She might not be pregnant. Okay. But she might also have had a craving because she is pregnant. That's smart. Okay, now the other girl. Now this makes sense because if you have a baby, maybe you want to eat healthy, make sure the baby's healthy. Right. You know? Now remember, guys, this is for everything. If Justin gets this one wrong, he gets the entire game wrong. No pressure, no pressure. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Ha! 20. Ha! 19. No! 18. No! 17. I'm, okay, I got 16. it. I think I got it. This lady on the right, she's wearing high heels. I don't know what it's like to be pregnant. I know what it's like to have a food baby, <laughs> but not pregnant. But I'm thinking, if you were actually pregnant, you wouldn't wear high heels. Now, obviously some people might, but I don't think that most people would, because that's a lot of stress on your ankles and your feet. Right, and, and you don't your... want to, like, accidentally fall. Yeah, I'm thinking, A, yeah, she got some nice balanced running shoes on. I'm thinking A is pregnant. So you think A is the correct answer? You think A is pregnant? A is pregnant. I think Cookie says we're gonna lock that in. Okay, here we go. The answer is, she's wearing high heels. Let's go! She's not pregnant. We're gonna get into the first weird mystery riddle right now, which is this clown riddle. Clown riddle. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here's how this one starts. Alan lived with his wife and daughter in a small town. Okay, okay. They were really poor. That's that. Like wait, us. That's not poor. <laughs> that's a big house. <laughs> that's way bigger than this room, which I am forced to live in. <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> Sometimes they didn't even have enough food to eat. Now that's scary. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> that's sad. But Alan loved his daughter Annie very much. Okay. One day he bought her two tickets to the circus. Okay. Alan and Annie really liked the show. Oh, wow, whoa, whoa, huh? They put you in this riddle too. I'm not a clown. Wow, Justin. somebody put the clown emoji. Okay, cool. Now, for Annie, the best part by far was the clown. Yeah, he juggling like me. As they were leaving the circus, they saw the clown near the exit. Okay. He's still juggling. He's still juggling. And he grabbed her father's hand and shouted, uh -huh. Daddy, the clown's so funny. Let's invite him to my birthday party. Uh -huh. My friends will love it. Uh-huh. Alan asked the clown how much it would cost. Alan. The clown said, $500. Now, Alan, you need to pay, you need to buy some food, <laughs> not, not get a clown. <laughs> but Alan couldn't afford it. I would agree. The, then the clown offered him something that would cost much less. Alan agreed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Annie's birthday came two months later. What? And she had a clown in her party. Wait, what? Her friends loved it, and Annie was so happy. Uh, what did the clown offer uh, Alan? Uh, now, apparently, Alan could not afford food, but he could afford a gym membership because he's like Jack. Wait, what kind of clown charges $500? Dude, this guy's a business Dude, man. I'm, I'm in the wrong business. I'm quitting this show. <laughs> I have been taking circus lessons. <laughs> I can't juggle now. I'm starting my own clown business. You cannot juggle. Yes, I can. Really? Yes, I Prove can. Prove it. Okay, I will. Well, I need so I need a third object to juggle, which is perfect, because I'm actually going to come in Wait. with Adam's phone. No, do yeah. not drop it. You I've can been juggle. taking juggling classes. I hope so. Oh, you better yeah. not drop that. Yeah. Justin? Oh, Justin! Yeah. Justin. Yeah. Stop, Justin! Yeah. Justin! Yeah! I'm gonna throw the phone higher! Justin! Get away! Justin! Justin! Get Justin! Away. 
man. You've been going to circus lessons? Yeah, so I'm quitting really? this show. I'm How have you been able to afford those? I don't give you any money. How? You gave me a dollar each time I won the games on this show. Oh. So I have a bunch saved up. Justin. One handed. Justin. One handed. No. Alan couldn't afford it. Then the clown offered him something else. Alan agreed, and he has a clown at the party. How did that happen? Let me, but hold on. Let me just back this up. Let me get this straight. Dude, these people, they live in, a, you know, a house that looks like, I don't, it's, I guess it's kind of boarded up or something. Yeah. I don't know. It says they were really poor. Okay? Yeah. They have a fridge that's empty, apparently, but apparently he can afford to take her to the circus. He can afford two tickets to the circus. <laughs> And he can afford to throw this big birthday party for any and all her friends. Dude, have you ever been to a birthday party? Are you completely ignoring what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Something about this riddle does not add up. You know what the clown probably gave him? What? He probably gave him lessons in fiscal responsibility. I'm gonna lock that in. He taught him how to budget and save his money. Because <laughs> Alan doesn't know what he's doing. He's like, oh, open the fridge. It's empty. I'm hungry. But let me just go on the internet and buy some tickets <laughs> for my family to go to the circus. Okay, you think the clown gave Alan investment advice? I think the clown gave him some insider stock trading tips. I think Alan became a millionaire overnight <laughs> by hacking the system. I do not condone taking insider stock trading advice from clowns at the circus. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> no. But I think that's what he did. Really? <laughs> How else, dude? Alan doesn't have any money. He doesn't even have food in his fridge. How's he gonna pay $500 for a clown? Now, how do you feel about their fridge situation? Now, this makes me incredibly distressed. They, they do have a lot of vegetables. It looks like a block of cheese and a can of something. Okay, you gotta figure this out. Now, let me look closer. Let me look closer. Let me analyze every detail and every frame. Do you think it has something to do with Alan's wife? I was noticing that she kind of disappeared from the riddle. Maybe. Dude! What if he had her dress up as the clown? Dude, let's see. Does that look like his wife? Oh, wait! That's him! Oh! Bruh! Dude! Bruh! <laughs> so, Dude. What, what the clown gave Alan for much cheaper was probably clown lessons! He probably gave him clown lessons like I'm gonna give you. Here's some juggling balls. I'm gonna teach you how to juggle. Okay. Okay, now throw them up in the air and try to catch them with the other hands. Yeah, nice! Okay, you do it again. Oh, keep I did going. it! And now I'm gonna add a third ball, go! Okay, keep going, keep going! Okay, keep going, ah, go, go, ah, go! Ah, and then I'm gonna ah, add ah, an iPhone! Ah, ah, okay, ah, cool! Justin! Justin! Justin. No, not Foxy! And a gumbo start juggle! Juggle! Justin. Juggle! Juggle! Justin. Well, he kinda is at the circus, because exactly. he's a circus elephant. Yes, Dumbo and I are starting our own circus business. If anyone wants to hire us, we will do birthday parties for $500. You think anyone's gonna pay $500 for you to oh, go to their birthday? absolutely! So if you pay us $500, Dumbo Dumbo and I will escape from this room, show up at your birthday party, probably eat a lot of the cake, and then go home. For $500. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think anyone's going to pay for that? Maybe the clown should give you money advice. Okay, Justin thinks the clown offered Alan clown lessons and maybe his outfit, and that yep. it's actually Alan at yep. the birthday party. Yup, yup. Okay, let's see what the answer is. He rented his costume to Alan. You got it right. Alan put it on and pretended to be a clown. Now, Justin got that one right. But for now, we're going to go to the next riddle, which is... Who is the mom? Who is the mom? Okay. Now, all you have to tell me is, who is the kid's mom? Uh, so, there's two women. Yeah. They're underwater. Yeah. The mermaid is saying, he's my kid. And the human is saying nothing. You have to tell me, who is the mom? What kind of riddle is this? Now, have you ever been in a situation like this? This actually looks like you, Adam. No. Does this remind you of being in school? You that know? kid's way more muscular than me. <laughs> this looks like you trying to decide who to go to prom with. <laughs> you know all the girls beyond Adam and Carter, you know? Now, the mermaid is saying, he's my kid. Do you think that tells you anything? Why isn't the other woman talking? Because she's not a mermaid. She can't breathe underwater. Dude. Bruh. I actually just solved this riddle in record time. The kid looks kind of like the mom on the right. Because uh -huh. he has brown hair. But that made me look closer at the kid. What are these lines on his neck? Dude, it could be like a tattoo. I'm probably going to rule that out because this kid looks like he's about 10 years old. Uh-huh. 
Or Unless he's a bad boy. That might be part of the this riddle. Might, this might be, but I'm thinking it's either a tattoo or it's gills. And he can breathe underwater. So actually, we're gonna put that to the test. Wait, wait, wait. You think he has gills, but if he's actually a mermaid, why doesn't he have a mermaid tail like the mom? Because, Adam, he's a merman. Mermans have mermaid tails. I've never seen a merman, so I wouldn't know. I but have. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? On SpongeBob. What? Mermaid Man. Mermaid Man? Yeah, he didn't have a tail. Yeah, he does. Mermaid Man and Barnacle? He doesn't have a tail. <laughs> yeah? No, he doesn't. No. <laughs> no, he literally doesn't. You're proving my point. Do you think I'm trying to trick you? I think you an idiot. <laughs> First, Adam, we're going to time you. Okay. I'm going to bring out your phone with a timer. Let's see how long you can hold your breath. Three, two, one. Wait, why is this going to go? I was just going to help you. Yeah, because you look like the kid in the riddle. So let's see how long you can hold your breath, and then I'll test it with gills and without gills. <laughs> Okay, okay, you made it <laughs> 10 seconds. Uh, I got nervous. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can I try again? No, you may oh, not. Okay. You better hope you never go for a swim, Dumbo, with 10 seconds. <laughs> That's not looking. You 10 seconds? Adam, you might need to go get your lungs checked out. No, I have really good lungs. Okay, okay. I know. <laughs> 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 Dude, what if I'm a mermaid and that's why I can't breathe well? I think you're right. <laughs> or it could be we my We gotta put you back underwater. Go quick, quick, quick. I'm not quick. a mermaid. Put you I'm back not a underwater. Justin, what? I'm not a mermaid. Now we're gonna test the breathing experiment with gills like this kid. We're gonna see if these are gills. Okay, now let's see how long you can hold your breath with these gills. Three, Wait, two, this would help me one, breathe underwater. go. Breathe through the gills on that big neck. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Oh. Oh. Do it for your mermaid mom. Okay. Okay. Dude. I doubled my time. <laughs> that probably is not really how that works in real life. At all. But. Wait, you're saying you cannot just draw gills with a sharpie and expect to double the amount of time you can I breathe? I don't know. That's what you just did, not me. Yeah. Yeah. It was because I, I, I was only using one of my lungs in the first one. And on the next one, I used twice because I used both my lungs. And <laughs> just like how right now you're only using one of your brain cells? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm gonna lock that in. I think those are gills because that proved it. You you held your breath for twice as long with the gills. Okay, gills. Justin thinks... Wait, who's the mom then? It's the mermaid. Okay, Justin hey. thinks the mermaid is the mom because the boy has gills. Yep. She's human. Yes. He's smiling and obviously can breathe underwater. Yes. Besides, he has gills. Let's go. She's the mom. Dude, you're doing so good. Let's go. Okay, Justin got that one right. And we're going to move on to the next riddle right now, which is this sister riddle. Sisters? Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Polly and Clara were sisters. Clara was older. Okay. And always teased her younger sister. You're just a silly little girl. Always will be. Wow, that's kind of okay. That year, Polly went to primary school. Okay. She was really proud of herself. Nice, Polly. And was sure that Clara wouldn't call her little anymore. Uh -huh. But Clara kept teasing her. Uh -huh. Primary school is for babies. Okay. <laughs> Everything's so easy. Uh -huh. Then Polly decided to teach Clara a lesson. Wow. Really? Then try to solve a riddle. Oh, Polly about to flex. That our teacher told us this morning. Okay. She's like, no problem, baby. Baby. From what number can you take away half and leave nothing? Now, that's the riddle. Do you think this is a baby riddle? Do you? Okay. Try and solve it. This From what number can you take away half and leave nothing? Mm -hmm. Polly might actually be a baby. <laughs> the answer is zero. No. Oh. It's not zero? No. I'm a baby then. <laughs> what number? Now, okay, maybe there's some hints in the riddle. At the start, I believe Polly was holding a cat, right? Do you think that has anything to do with it? <gasps> you try to trick me. <laughs> maybe she's allergic. <laughs> You take that last brain cell you have and you tell me what a cat allergy has to do with math. <laughs> well, cat and math rhyme. Cat allergy, math allergy, 
math al algorithm. You know what else rhymes with math? Bath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is what I'm about to give no, you. No, Justin. No, stop it. Justin, I'm not a mermaid man. Yeah. You're just upset because you can't solve it. Do a little math. You're about to feel my wrath. <laughs> and then take a bath. <laughs> From what number can you take away half and leave nothing? Dude, it's zero. It's definitely zero. You take, you take zero, you divide by half. Can you divide zero by two? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Let's see what happens when I do that in a calculator. Okay, it's gonna give you zero. No, yeah. zero divided by two. Is zero. Yeah, but you can't divide by zero, because zero's nothing. You can't divide nothing in half. If I give you no- You just did! If I give you no donuts and I say, can I have half? What yeah, are you gonna you give me? Yeah, you still have nothing. No. Yeah? No. So you just proved yourself wrong! You idiot. Nope. This doesn't make any sense. It's zero. I'm locking that in. You're trying to troll me. Okay. Am I a baby? Am I getting this totally wrong? What number can you take away half and leave nothing? Or it's like one of those trolls where it's like, it's like the number is 11 and taking away half is getting rid of one of the ones. What if I told you you were a little close? And leave Maybe. nothing. Maybe. The number is eight. Is it? And you take away half. <laughs> Justin, Justin, no, you weren't supposed to find these. Justin, Justin. <laughs> okay, Justin thinks after much thought that the answer is eight. It's because when you take away half, it leaves zero. Now that's probably the answer to the riddle, but Polly is still a baby because the actual answer is zero. I do not endorse learning false mathematics on this show okay here's the answer eight yeah that's not how that works polly because when you take away the top half you're left with zero yeah polly i hate to break it to you but uh your sister clara might be right you might be an actual baby okay justin's just a little upset because he needed some help to solve that one I, let, us it know, dude, it's zero. let us know if you figured that out before, Justin, and if you're actually smarter. I must say, Justin got that one right. It just took him a long time. <laughs> and we're going to move on to the next riddle, which is this classroom riddle. Okay, okay, okay. An inspector came to school. He noticed that whenever he asked a question, the whole class rose their hand. Uh, rose hands, okay. Every time the teacher picked a new student to answer the question. Okay. So there's the inspector, but the teacher picked the student. Okay. And every time the answer was correct. Huh? So he's asking the square root of 625. 25. Boom! And the kid got it right. Now, how is that possible? No matter what the inspector asked, the kids all rose their hand and they always got it right. Now, what do you immediately think could be the answer? What kind of student were you like in school? Oh, you know, <laughs> the best. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no. When the teacher called on you, would you always have the answer oh, right? 100%. Really? 100%. Okay, let's do a simulation. Yeah. What is four times five? Justin. 20. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I know I didn't mean to flex on everybody. Yeah. What's 15 times 300? <laughs> <laughs> 300. 4,500. Wait, you said 15? I don't know, three. did I? I don't know what you said. <laughs> well, if you were smart, you knew what I said. 4,500. Really? Yeah. Off the bat, I'm going to say these kids are probably <laughs> super geniuses. Uh -huh. 900 IQ. Uh huh. Okay, that's like my friends. Like, you can ask them any question. <laughs> ask them a question, Adam. The teacher picked a new student to answer the oh, question okay, every okay, time. Okay, ask the question again. What is the Pythagorean theorem? Okay, they're both gonna raise their hands. I'm gonna pick Chimmy. Chimmy says there are 50 states in the United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> Boom, he got it right. That's not what I asked, even though that is right. But I, I asked a math question. Okay, they're both gonna raise their hands. Uh-huh. Mm, I'm gonna pick Cookie. Cookie says there are three sides on a triangle. <laughs> Boom! Take that! That's yeah. not the answer. Yeah. <laughs> no. Who's their teacher? I'm their teacher. <laughs> really? Yeah. You think you're smart enough to teach them? Shimmy, is Justin a good teacher? He said, I'm gonna raise my hand. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Is it just because the teacher, she's picking the student that she knows will know the answer? So you think she's picking the student that's like the smartest? I guess. But she has to pick a new student every time. So Maybe they're all just really smart. No. What What you mean? <laughs> okay, okay. Teacher Justy is now here. I will do a simulation to figure out the answer. So you're the teacher in the riddle? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> Inspector Adam has come to my classroom. Uh-huh. My friends are here in class. Uh-huh. Now go ahead and ask them a question. Okay, what is the square root of 625? They are both going to raise their hands. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to pick Chimmy. Chimmy says, it is 25. That's what? right. Okay, okay, next question. Okay, just like in the riddle, what is the square root of 196? They're both gonna raise their hands. Okay. I'm gonna pick Kooky, because I gotta pick someone different every time. Uh-huh. Kooky says it's 14. They got him right. Yeah. How did that help you solve the riddle? Because I know how they got that right. How? I think there's a secret system in here uh -huh. where one of the kids, depending on his hand waving and signals, is telling the teacher he or really? she knows the answer. Yeah. So you think the teacher told the kids to all raise their hands no matter what, but only one kid who knows it does some kind of weird hand signal? That's what I'm thinking. Dude, do you want to lock that in? I bet it's a secret hand signal. I bet one of them waves their hand. I bet that's how they're waving. That's their secret signal. I think it's some sort of secret signal where all the kids raise their hand. One of them who knows the answer raises their hand in a different way and the teacher knows and they pick that one. Okay. Okay, let's see what the answer is. Now, the answer is the teacher made a deal with the students that they should all raise their hand. Yeah. But if the students know the answer, they should raise their left oh, hand. Oh, dude. And if they don't, they should raise their right hand. Let's go away. So did And that she would only pick the people that raised their left hand because only the people that raised their left hand knew it. So she would always pick that person. Wait, so do I get that right? You got that, that one right. Let's go. Dude, nice job. Okay, Justin got that riddle right. And we can move on to the next one, which is. This cupcake riddle. Cupcakes? Okay, now here we go. Marcus was visiting his grandmother, Miss Potts. Mrs. Potts. The old lady adored riddles. Okay. And always tested her grandson's logic. Okay. She prepared a cupcake riddle for Ooh, Marcus. Granny's cupcakes. She knew he hated oranges. Okay. So she cooked three different cupcakes with different fillings. Strawberry, apple, and orange. Okay, okay. Miss Potts put the cupcakes in front of Marcus and said... Choose one cupcake. One of the cupcakes has orange filling. The strawberry filling is not in the green oh, cupcake. Oh, not another one of these riddles. The apple cupcake is not near the strawberry cupcake. Which cupcake has the orange filling? You gotta try and find out which one has the orange filling. To help you out, I brought in some Twinkies and some icing <laughs> to correspond with each ingredient. Okay. So this is strawberry for red, yeah. orange for the orange, and green yeah. for the apple. Thank you for bringing these. These will help me out greatly. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, now see if you can figure this out before Justin. And if you can, you are actually a genius. Wait, no, those are, those are for the riddle. Huh? <laughs> I didn't get you these to eat, and then you can solve it. These are to help you solve the riddle. You can't no, eat these. No. Yeah. But if I eat these, it will increase my brain power. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's not how that works. <laughs> okay, luckily I have an extra Twinkie. Do not eat this one. Let me try and help you with this riddle, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap these. Justin! What? What were you about to do? I was gonna smell it. You're gonna smell it. Why? Okay, put it on the table. Do hey, let me help. Justin! Okay, now the clues are on the screen. So we have a strawberry, an apple, and an orange, just like in the riddle. Okay. Now, okay, the first clue is the strawberry filling is not in the green cupcake. Okay. Now, okay, so you know the orange filling. Stop! Is you're not confusing here. me. The <laughs> strawberry filling is not in the green cupcake. So strawberries either here or here. Uh-huh. Okay. These are apple and strawberry. The strawberry is not in the green cupcake. That tells me absolutely nothing. <laughs> now, if I assume this one is the strawberry, <laughs> that also makes this apple and that makes this orange. I solved it. It's the green one. Are you sure? Boom! Yes! Well, if I assume that this one is strawberry, the apple is not near the strawberry. That's not possible because then the apple would be near it. Yep, it's this one. It's the green one. It's the green one. Lock it in. What happens if you get this one wrong? If you get this one wrong, 
I get to eat all of these and you have to watch me. That will never happen. <laughs> okay, here we go. The strawberry filling is not in the middle. Yeah. The apple filling can't be in the middle. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be near the strawberry. Yeah, okay. so it's a green one. So it's, you got it. Yeah, yeah, eat it, Adam, do it, eat it. Now eat the second one, yeah, do it. Now eat the third one, yeah, yeah. Eat it. Eat Granny's Cupcakes! This Princess Riddle! Princess? Okay, here's how this one starts. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. Okay, okay. Once, she woke up to a wonderful melody. Okay, like a song. She went out to the balcony to see who was out there. Okay. And an evil wizard captured her! <laughs> Pranky Boxer! And locked her in a castle guarded by a dragon. Dude. The king announced that anyone who would free his daughter would be able to marry her. Okay, that's a good deal. Soon the princess heard someone fighting the dragon. Okay, okay. She was looking forward to meeting the prince, uh -huh. but then three princes appeared in front of her. Okay. I came to set you free, said the first prince. Okay. I went through swamps and forests to save you, okay. said the second prince. I destroyed the dragon, says the third prince. Which prince should she choose? So two of these are not real princes, and one is the actual prince that saved her. So two are imposters. Exactly. So who should she pick and Mary. There is a magnifying glass that will go over the riddle so it'll zoom in on certain parts of each prince. One of them said, I came to set you free. Uh -huh. Now, now this, this riddle is a little bit too confusing. So actually, I'm gonna confuse it a little bit more by bringing my friends. Prince Cookie. Yar. <laughs> is he a pirate? He's a prince pirate lore. Yar. Yar, matey. And then we got cowboy prince. <laughs> Jimmy, yeehaw, partner, yeah, okay. And then we have Prince Foxy himself. <laughs> so the first person says, I came to set you free. That's kooky. Now, how did that help? That does not help me yet. But if the first prince was kooky, kooky says, I came to set you free. I am very likely to believe him because kooky's my friend. Yep, I have a strong inclination. It's already the first prince. But what about the second prince? Let's see. I went through swamps and forests to save you. Now, thank you very much for that, Prince Cowboy Chimmy. How do you know he's not lying? I don't think he's lying, but I will say I didn't know there were swamps and forests here. What if I back up the riddle? Do they even look like they're in a place with swamps and forests? No! It looks like a nice, happy little place with no swamps or forests. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? He says, nope. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna set these two aside. And now the third prince, Prince Boxy, says, I killed the dragon. And I have dragon's blood on my arm to prove it. Off the bat, I'm gonna say, Boxy, you're my friend and everything, but that was a little bit too blunt. I killed the dragon. I mean, that's obviously what a liar would say. So the magnifying glass on the first guy, he's got a sword that's bloody. He fought something. Okay. Or maybe he just spilled food on it. Has that ever happened to you? I'm about to spill food on you. <laughs> maybe I'll stop distracting me. <laughs> the second guy also has a bloody sword and he's got a trans transforming potion. Huh? Okay, and the last guy has absolutely nothing. I don't think it's the third one. The third one looks like a liar. The first thing he said was, I killed the dragon. Mm -hmm. That seems like an obvious lie, and his sword isn't even bloody. It's probably not him. Between Prince Kooky and Chimmy, with the red and yellow, I'm thinking it's probably the first one. One, because I love Kooky, but also because what is the transforming potion for? It transforms you into something else. That's what I'm saying. It's probably the wizard. Wizard. No way! You think the wizard is the second prince? I think so, or something like that. Wait, why would the wizard capture the princess and then transform into a prince to try and marry her? Because if he just forced her to marry him against her will, she would never love him. But now that he tricked her, now he's playing mind games. I'm gonna go with the first prince because he has a bloody sword, so I think he fought a dragon, and he doesn't have some weird transforming potion. I don't even know what that is. Okay, Justin thinks that it's the first prince because the second prince prince might be the wizard and the third prince has a clean sword and he's a liar okay let's yep. see what the answer is okay the third prince lied there's no blood on his sword okay okay and he's not a real prince he must be the wizard no you solved it wait i'm actually nine trillion iq it was prince kooky dude it yeah. actually worked prince kooky's gonna come fight the dragon now well, yeah. now i'm not the dragon yeah. justin yeah. justin yeah. justin yeah. what yeah. 
Yeah. Say you're sorry. Doing cookie this. I will not. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Okay, Jazzy got that one right. But for now, we're gonna get to the next riddle, which is this sick riddle. Sick riddle. Okay, this one gets pretty intense. You ready? Okay. Peter was sick for two days. Okay. That's Peter. Okay. And stayed in his bed. On one of the days, he was robbed by a neighbor. The police narrowed it down to two suspects. Okay. Diana oh. and Anna. Dude, Peter. Both girls were out last night. Okay. They said they came home late. Okay. The police checked their cars in the parking lot. Okay. They knew that one of them came home earlier and robbed Peter's house. Huh? Who robbed Peter? Okay, now there's a lot of hints in the riddle. Can you figure this out? I'm gonna say it was Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lock that in for the insurance money. Yeah, he <laughs> get it to, to frame himself. Yep. Now this person has blue shoes. Okay. They have blue and white shoes. I'm watching. I'm looking. And they stole a clock and a lot of other heavy stuff. I have deduced who it is. Who? To carry all this stuff, you gotta be Jack. Like really strong? Really like strong. us? Yeah, um, no, not like us. Oh. Between these two, who was more muscular? I would say it is the girl on the left. Do you think it has anything to do with the color of their cars? I do not. <laughs> what if it's one of the police? So it's an inside job? It was an inside job from the start. <laughs> I've solved it. I've cracked the case. Me and Detective Kooky have arrived on the scene and cracked the case. Peter was <laughs> never sick to begin with. He staged his own robbery for the insurance money, dressed up as a policeman, and then rented actresses and three cars to film a YouTube pranky box video prank compilation. And that's the end. Answer. Boom, lock it in. Cookie's gonna take that. He's gonna buckle his seatbelt. Click, 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 and he's locked in. Wait. <gasps> Wait! What? Wait, Detective Cookie and I have actually, we actually think we're onto something. Really? Like, no trolling. Really? What I said earlier about heavy stuff was actually makes sense. You trying to confuse us. Cookie says it did not work. I just looked really closely. Look at the green car. Notice how it is slightly lower than the other cars. You think it's whoever owns the green car because their car is literally weighed down by everything they stole? Yeah. That's a pretty good guess. Okay, yeah. we'll see what the answer is. Yeah. The answer is the robber was Anna because she couldn't open her doors if she came home late. So Peter was parked, Anna came home, got out and robbed him, but then Diana was the last one there because she parked too close to Anna for her to even get out. So Peter wasn't dressed as a policeman? No. <laughs> Now, Dustin got that one wrong. Mm. Let us know if you guys were able to figure that out. I thought that was pretty tricky, but it does kind of make sense because no, she couldn't get out. She couldn't get out of her car. And we're going to find the next riddle right now, which is this police riddle. Police. Okay. Alice was a successful lawyer. One morning, Alice went to work and suddenly remembered that she had forgotten important documents at home. She decided to return home for them. No problem. When she was about to leave again, she heard a strange noise. Someone was breaking into her house. Oh, no. Alice immediately called the police. Good, that's what you should do. Help! Someone's trying to get into my house. Okay. Don't worry, we're on the way, yeah. says the police. The police came quickly. Yeah. Alice was ready to open the door, but she realized there were two policemen. One was standing near the front door, and one was standing by the back door. Which police officer is real? Who is the real police officer? So she's walking. She went home to get some documents, mm -hmm. and she heard people breaking in. Now, wait, there's the mail, mail slot. It's the front door. Oh, that's smart. It's gotta be the front door. Except there is no mail slot. What? What does the fact that she is a lawyer have to do with this riddle? Might be nothing, but it might be something. Now, it's funny that Alice happens to be a lawyer because, because I also won division of Justy Corp International Inc is our law firm. So I'm gonna bring down to the stand, Jimmy! He says you have the right to remain silent <laughs> and not think. <laughs> Everything you do and say can be used against you in the court of thickness. You will now tell us the answer to this riddle or else face severe legal consequences. You're looking at about five to ten years here. 
I'm not being thick. <laughs> if you don't tell us now, defense attorney lawyer Koki is coming down from the stand. Defense interrogation master attorney Koki is gonna whip out the Tata mirror of truth and friendship. He says, Adam, take a good, long, hard look at yourself. Do you want to be remembered as somebody who didn't tell us the answer to this riddle? Yeah, that wouldn't be that bad. The jury is going to step out for a quick meeting. They are now conversing. <laughs> yes, they seem to have reached an agreement. The verdict? The verdict is here. Kooky is going to take the Tata mirror and wow! Well, hey! Hey! Wait, 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 wait. wait. That's the Justin Just Chromey legal team for you. Justin, wait. How? Does anything that you just did help you solve this riddle? Dude, that actually just told me an answer, right? There. Do you even remember what the riddle was? Oh, wait, wait riddle? <laughs> We're not playing Guess the Price Food Edition? No, you have to tell me who the real police officer is. Between these two, you already know who I'm trusting. It's the thicker one. <laughs> I'm trusting the one at the back. So you think that the police officer who is at the back door, who is wearing not really even a police officer outfit, is the real police officer because he is thicker. He's thicker and also, I'm, the only real clue I have here is that in the beginning, she did see the noise was coming from a door with a mail slot. I think that's the front door. Yeah. So Justin is going to pick the guy on the right, the thicker guy with the mustache who is at her back door as the real police Police officer, let's see if he got that one right. That is wrong. A real policeman would not knock what on the back door. Mean? He's a criminal. He did not even have a shirt tucked in. He has no badge. The actual police officer has a real police outfit. It's impossible to answer these riddles because sometimes it is the most convoluted, ridiculous, open this door and the zombie comes out and the motion sensor brick. <laughs> like, none of those make sense and then this is the most common sense riddle ever. I tried to make this one easy. Deposition deputy Jimmy says, how dare you? <laughs> After we offered you truth and friendship, <laughs> you play us like this. Okay, Justin got that one wrong. Mm. And we can go to the next riddle right now, which is this escape riddle. What? Okay, this is a simple one. All you have to tell me is who will escape. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, now there's two girls. The closer you look, the more details there are. There's a girl on the left who looks to be looking at the key. Uh -huh. And then the girl on the right is sitting there very frustrated and there might be some stuff on the floor. So you have to tell me which one of these two girls will escape. I'm actually gonna help you with this riddle. Okay. I have made for you a jail cell made of paper so you can see what it's like to be in prison. Now I'm inside a jail within a jail. <laughs> Let me out right now. Right now. Now Cookie is gonna just slide through. <laughs> yeah. Now he's free Cookie. Go get the key. He's gonna come back. He's like, I got it. I got it. He's gone. And then Cookie's gonna come back. Oh, he got the glitch. Yeah! I got a cosmic brownie. Wait. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. But the girls in jail don't have Cookie to help them. Well, then they're never getting out, are they? It's over. Well, I'm a lot of them will. Why? One of these girls will escape. You have to tell me who. Now, the girl on the left, she is looking at the keys. She looks like she's smiling a little bit. The one on the other side, she looks a little bit angry. Yeah, she's frustrated. She has a bowl on the ground. Uh-huh. A way to get... Oh, because... Oh, wait. She doesn't have a window. The other girl has a window. Oh. Wait, what if she, like, breaks the window with a bolt and then climbs out? Dude, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so this might be, like, two different jail cells. Yeah. The girl on the right has a window that she might be able to, like, climb out of. Yeah, exactly. Wait. I'm actually gonna escape. I got a bowl just like that girl. I'm gonna throw it at the window. Okay. Ah, ah, and then I'm gonna bring out these towels that I rigged together throw them over. Wait, she doesn't have towels and in the jail. And then I'm gonna actually repel down the side of the jail. I'm gonna send Cookie first. Cookie says, I'll see you later. He's repelling, repelling down the side of the building. Yeah! <laughs> and now it's my turn. Hasta la vista, baby. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> the lady on the right has a bowl and she has a window. Oh, wait! She could use these sticks in her hair uh -huh. to pick this lock, probably. Okay, it's either that or it has to do with this window and like the bowl somehow, but I don't 
think so. Okay, that might be it. You want to lock that in? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's see if that's the right answer. Lock that in. Oh, I get it, because it's a lock. <laughs> the answer is, who will escape? The girl on the left by using the stick in her hair. Let's go! And she gets out. That doesn't make any sense, but let's go. Dude, you got it right. Okay. Nice. Okay, Justin got that riddle right. And we can go on to the next riddle right now, which is this vampire riddle. Vampires? Okay, now this is a pretty simple one. Now, all you have to tell me is who is the vampire. Okay. Now, there's okay. a lot to look at. Now, it looks like a couple is getting married. Married in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. And then there's two girls. Dude, on each they side put you them. in the riddle. Do the thing. Do the do the thing. <laughs> Yeah! Okay, okay, now let me look. Look, the girl on the left, very quickly, I'm like, that might be the vampire, because she got pointy fangs. Oh, she has fangs! Now, but I have also seen on TikTok, there's a trend where people flex their fangs. Yeah. Apparently not everybody has sharp teeth like that. You have them. A lot of people have them. That might just be normal teeth, I don't know. The guy looks like he's bit on his neck, right? Yeah, but he, that might be a decoy. He could be the vampire. He, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Hey, I'm not gonna rule him out either. The bride over here. Looks pretty sad. She looks pretty sad. But wait. That might also be a decoy. I yeah. can pull her out. The one on the right has blood on her mouth and pointy ears. But what is she holding? A purse. Oh. I can't rule her out either. It could literally be all of them. I have deduced absolutely nothing. <laughs> the wife has blood on her. Yes. How do you think that got there? Let's be real for a second. Somebody bit him and he's bleeding all over her and other people. Now naturally I'm thinking it's her because she has blood on her mouth. How does that happen? Unless you're a vampire. Perhaps she ate ribs, which have a lot of barbecue sauce. She forgot to clean it off her mouth. I think that's actually it. I have actually solved it. Really? I've solved this riddle. This man went to McLanky. He ordered him himself a nice 10-piece nuggets with the ketchup on the side. He was eating the ketchup, dipping the nuggets, didn't want to share. And one of the nuggets got caught in his throat. He's actually choking. <laughs> <laughs> Hence him grabbing his neck. Uh -huh. <laughs> the wife is alarmed. That is not blood. It is just ketchup on her. This girl over here was secretly eating his nuggets. Hence the ketchup on her mouth. And this lady over here does not eat chicken nuggets. And that's why she's happy. Boom, I solved it. Yeah, just a little bit of ketchup from the nuggets. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. How does this help you solve the riddle? Um, I mean, it, it really doesn't. I'm just thinking about nuggets. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Does it have to do with chicken nuggets? No, I just told you it doesn't. Well, then I give up. I don't know. It's probably not the guy because he got bit. It's probably not his bride. It's either the girl with the pointed teeth or the girl with blood in her mouth. I'm going to say it's the girl with the blood in her mouth. Why is there blood on her mouth if she's not a vampire, huh? It's C. I'm locking that in. Boom. Okay, Justin thinks it's the girl on the far right. Let her C. Yeah. Let's see what the answer is. The answer is the girl on the right. Let's go. Blood Let's on her mouth. Go. Dude, and she bit the guy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's not ketchup, no! No, Justin! Stop. Let's go! This Justin Riddle. What? Okay, Justin is in a room <laughs> where water is pouring <laughs> in. Ah! There's no way to get out or turn it off. He'll be rescued in five minutes. Five minutes? I yeah. can do that. Justin has a bucket, a straw, and a donut. How can he escape? That's too easy, Adam. It's way too easy. <laughs> okay, I got a bucket, I got some donuts, and I got a straw. Okay, the water's coming in. What are you gonna do? I would open my donut. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are fresh. Yeah. <laughs> the water's coming. I don't care. <laughs> and then I would eat my donuts. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the water is still coming. And then I would take my straw and I would sip on the water. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. i wait five minutes. No, the water's still filling up. Eventually it's gonna fill up the entire room. Are you sure? Yeah. In five minutes? Yeah. That's not possible. Yeah. Uh, well, if it did, I would call in a friend. <laughs> oh, it's the thick shark. I would have my friend the thick shark eat me whole. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just survive in his tummy for five minutes. You haven't even touched the bucket. That's your third object that you have. I mean, let me think this through. I got it. Really? I got it. I got it. I would use the straw and the donuts to build a one-of-a-kind snorkeling device. Really? Yes, wherein I could breathe out of this side 
and eat donuts out of the other. <laughs> 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 Is this what you did when you were a lifeguard? <laughs> oh, I actually, I actually got some. Really? Yeah, that's what I would do. And then, oh, wait. I got an idea, Adam. What? If I put the bucket over my head, uh -huh. there's air in here. Okay. I could just breathe this air. <laughs> I would breathe the air under the bucket for five minutes, or I would make a snorkel out of my donuts and straw. Done. I need you to select one of those two options. I'll give you a hint. You're really close. Am I really? Yeah. You just need to pick which of those two options you think is more viable. Guys, let us know what you think Justin should do. Can you figure this out? I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four. I would take the bucket. And I put it on your head. Wow. And then I'm gonna lock in the donut snorkel. Justin. Do you think this is the answer? <laughs> Okay, Justin's gonna lock in, make a snorkel no, out of no, the donut. No, no, I'm locking the bucket. I'm locking the bucket. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Justin is going to, are you sure? Yeah. Justin is going to lock in, putting the bucket over his head. Let's see what the answer is. Turn the bucket upside down. It will create a pocket of air. Uh -huh. Justin got that one right. But we're gonna get into the next riddle right now, which is this survival riddle. Oh, oh Okay, please. now this one is a little scary. Adam is skydiving, but his parachute won't open. You put yourself in a riddle, really? Yeah. Okay. You have always wanted to skydive. What? What should he do? Now your three options are, I could either curl in a ball in the air, I could cling on to another skydiver, or I could open the reserve parachute and hope that works. Those are the only three options? Those are the only three options. Curl in a ball, cling on to another skydiver, or open the reserve parachute. <laughs> Is this just an actual safety question? I don't know. I don't skydive. <laughs> Recreationally. <laughs> curl in a ball is like what the real Adam would do. Well, if I curled in a ball and I fell and hit the ground, I just bounce back up. Cling on to another skydiver. That's not a good idea. Why? Because who would let you do that? <laughs> if I was skydiving, I saw this guy coming toward me. <laughs> it's gotta be C. Open the reserve parachute. What? How would any other answer possibly make sense? Are you trolling? Is there something I'm missing here? Justin's gonna lock in. Open the reserve parachute. Is the, is the next riddle gonna be in a fire, what should you do? Stop, drop, and roll is the, the answer. answer is, if you cling to another skydiver, you'll kill them too. Yeah. So that's not the option. Yeah. Curling in a ball isn't a guaranteed survival. Yeah. So go with the reserve parachute. Wait, what? That tested your survival <laughs> instincts. How is that a riddle? Are you trolling? It's to test your survival skills. That's not a test of your survival Yeah. <laughs> Justin got that one right. We're gonna get into the next riddle right now, which is this forest riddle. A girl and her friend were walking in a forest. <laughs> okay, okay. One of them got lost. Oh, no! However, she had three magic pills in her pocket. Is this another pill <laughs> question? She can only take one pill. Okay. The green pill gives her super hearing. Uh, okay. The red pill gives you super speed. Okay, okay. <laughs> the purple pill gives you night vision. Okay. What should she do to get to safety? That's it? So she's in the forest. She has a friend, right? But uh -huh. she got lost. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Now she has these three pills. She can uh -huh. only take one. Uh -huh. How can she get to safety? Okay. Too easy. Really? Because I have magic pills right here. Yeah. Those are Skittles. Nope. That's just candy. Nope. These are prescription. Your doctor gave you those? Oh, yeah. For what illness? <laughs> <laughs> you know, to get more things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she's got a green pill that gives her what super Super hearing. Right. The red one gives her super speed. Yeah. And the purple one gives her better eyesight. It gives her night vision because where she is, it's really dark. She can't see anything. She's in a forest. Okay. Yeah. Now, the first question I have is what does the friend have to do with this? Maybe it has to do with her getting to safety. So let's say me and you were walking in a forest and you got lost and you knew that I was somewhere in the forest. Which pill would you take? <laughs> if we were lost in a forest together, I, I bet you'd take the speed pill and run the opposite direction of me. I would take all the Skittles <laughs> and eat them myself. 
No, that's against the rule. Why? It says you can only take one pill. The green one gonna help her hearing. I don't really see how that helps, although maybe she could take it and she could listen and hear sounds of civilization and know which way to go. Super speed, that also seems useful because she just run in any direction and see if there's people over there and if there's not, she'd come back super fast. I wouldn't take the purple one. The purple one's the worst. It's not dark out, just a forest. Why do I need to see in the dark? Because there's no lighting in a forest. Yes, the, what do you mean there's no light? in a forest. It never said it's nighttime. Okay. Yeah, I can take the purple one and not even use it. Okay. Yeah, don't need it. Now I have two options. Okay. The nice green pill to give me supersonic hearing. I don't really think that's useful. I'm taking the green one. I'm getting rid of it. It's the super speed pill. Duh. How would Justin get out of the forest? Let us know what you guys think. The answer is she can't see her friend through the tree. What are you talking? What For the running one. What? She wouldn't know where to run. What? 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 It's dark out. What does her friend have to do with any of this? Her friend is her ticket to say Why? Because they're together. You would just leave your friend to die. So it's not the running pill. She should pick the super hearing pill. Why? Because she can hear her friend. Why do you keep talking about her friend? She's still lost. Yeah, but at least they're together. What are you talking about, Adam. <laughs> They're lost together. They're gonna die together in the forest because she didn't take no, the red pill. No, one of the girls went off into the forest and got lost. Uh -huh. The other girl is still safe. A what? A girl and a friend were walking in the forest. Look at how happy they were. One of the girls got lost. They're both lost. Are you <laughs> Are you trolling? I think Justin's a little upset because he got outsmarted. Justin got that one wrong. And we can go on to the next riddle right now, which is this connect the dot riddle. Huh? All you got to do is connect the four dots using three straight lines. Okay, connect the four dots. No, boom, Justin, boom, boom. no. Why? Yeah, not on the phone. Why? Boom, boom, no. boom, boom, boom. Why? I'm drawing on my phone. Use paper. Uh -huh. Okay, so see if you guys can figure this one out. There's four dots, right? Yeah. You need to use three straight lines and connect all four of them. Did I already figure it out? No. What are you talking about? Three lines to connect them? Yeah. One, two, three. No, are these aren't connected. Oh, you have to connect all of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. Three straight lines Correct. to connect them? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a tricky one. I need you to use 100% of your brain. One? Okay. What is so funny? <laughs> what is so funny? No, keep going. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but these aren't connected. These aren't connected. And these aren't connected. And these aren't connected. <laughs> but you did make a really cute fit. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got four dots right here. I got to connect them with three lines. Yes. Three straight lines. Okay. Will you give me a hint if I get one of the lines right? No. What? I'll give you a donut if you get one right. No, Justin! What? Stop drawing on the phone. Try and figure this out. Think outside the box. How did I know you were going to say something cringe like that? Think outside the box. So I do something like this, like outside the box. You're thinking a little too square. Maybe try another shape. That's the last hint I'm going to give. No, that's not a straight line. <laughs> and you missed one of them. Okay, it's not a circle. It could be a triangle. How many lines are you allowed to have? Three. How many shapes have three lines? What is this, the SAT? <laughs> I'm a trying, triangle. I'm trying to help you. It's a triangle. Okay. How does that help? Are you trolling? I have already said too much. What is a right triangle? What is like this? Huh? You uh, just connected. How is that the answer? Wait, 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 Are wait, wait. Are you trolling? You must be trolling. I really hope you're trolling. How is that any different than what I did about 10 minutes ago, which is this? They're all connected. That's actually the answer? You just trolled me and everybody at home for a solid 10 minutes. Is this the answer? Yeah. Are you are you actually trolling? <laughs> I was closer when I did this. <laughs> that's like this. That's only two lines and now they're all connected. No, these are connected. Yes, they are. That's a connection. Chimmy says, get in. I am math professor Chimmy. You go where you belong. 
Dang, in the trash, yay. Yeah. I'm gonna say you got that one right. Yeah! Okay, Jossie got that one right, and we're gonna go to the next riddle right now, which is this mistake riddle. Okay. Okay, can you spot a mistake here? Okay, so it's <laughs> one through nine. There's yeah. different colors. You gotta figure out where is the problem. Can you spot a mistake here? So it's red, green, purple, yellow, blue, green, purple, brown, red, right? Yeah. Could you see a mistake? Adam. Why you gotta insult my intelligence? <laughs> what? Can you spot a mistake here? Yeah. You're trying to throw me off, Adam. How? Trying to convince me it's the colors. Red, green, purple, yellow, blue, green, purple, brown, red. Little do you know, Adam, I am a math professor and also a grammar professor. Cookie has solved it. What is it? It's right there. What? Cookie says, why don't you take a closer look? I can't see it. Can Justin! Ah. Justin! Oh, look, there's two black spots in there right now. I don't know. The answer is the word spot. What do you mean? There's two spots. Can you spot spot a mistake here? Okay. That has nothing to do with numbers or colors. You tried to trick us. Okay, Justin thinks it's the word spot. And he is correct. The word spot was there twice. Wow. Whoa. Welcome to the No Snake Hotel. The only hotel with a 99.99% .99 No Snake Guarantee. Here at the No Snake Hotel, we pride ourselves in our incomprehensible lack of snakes. At other hotels, you run the constant risk of finding a snake in your bed sheets, a snake in your toilet, or even waking up to a snake sliding down your throat. It happens more than you'd think. Call the front desk for questions and enjoy your stay at the No Snake Hotel. Okay, so it's a hotel that says they are 99.99% .99 chance of no snakes. There's no snakes. There's definitely no snakes. Now, this game looks awesome, guys. Look at the graphics. Well, yeah, but okay, guys. Apparently, this is a brand new game. It's really scary, and apparently, if the snake attacks you, it might turn you into a snake. What are you talking about? It's gonna turn me into a snake, dude. I'm just saying, I saw some people on YouTube were talking about this game, and they literally said you get turned to a snake if you get bit. Snake! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, snakes always use their tongue. I, I learned on um, Discovery Channel that snakes smell with their tongues. You guys know that? Wow. Hey yeah, guys, okay. The task said to look for room 100. It's 120, 119. So we oh we got a we got a ways to go. Now guys, this game is really cool. I know nothing about this game except that it looks awesome. So there's oh what's this? Okay, it's a note. It says I'm living the dream. I didn't think it was possible, but I sure am happy it is. The No Snake Hotel really lives up to its name. Ever since I was a little girl and got abducted by an army of snakes while on vacation, I haven't left my house. After 50 years in solitude, I finally have a safe place where I can vacation. Oh, so everyone who comes to this hotel is really afraid of snakes and they're just happy to be here. Oh, so this hotel guarantees that you will not see any snakes. That's pretty cool. It's kind of scary though. I feel like somebody's gonna jump out at me. Uh, can yeah. I, can I open these doors? I can't open them. Well, I mean, those belong to other guests. Why is this one like blocked up, dude? I don't know. It's blocked up, man. Wow. I don't like this, bro. Guys, apparently this game might have some snakes in it. Uh-oh, is this our room? Oh no, I hope not. Hello? Are you okay in there? Wait, is that room 100? No, no, no. 113, 112, that must be room 111 or something. Something like that, yeah. Uh-oh. Huh! Okay, everywhere except here. Yep, there's no snakes here. Oh, another note. I feel safer than ever here. One time at some other hotel, I walked into my room, and when I turned around to shut the door, there was a snake. What? Dangling from the coat hook. But here at the No Snake Hotel, I don't need to worry about uh, what creepy, slithering creatures might be standing behind me. Okay, so a lot of people have had bad experiences with snakes, it sounds like. Yeah. That's kind of sad. Snake! Justin, be careful. What? Why? I just have a really bad feeling about this game, Dude, guys. you're freaking me out. Why, why? Why would you say that, dude? I'm just saying, just be careful. Why would you say that, dude? Why are these, why are these, like, blocked up? What is that? Uh... Dude, why would you, why would you say that? I was having a good time. Nah. Huh? What is that? Hello? I don't know. We should be alright. Hello? Yeah, what's that banging sound? What is that? Wait, we're getting closer to our room. What? Are you sure we should open that door? Well, it said to find our room. I just don't want to get turned to a snake. How are we going to get turned to a snake? Stop being scared, Adam. Okay, this is kind of spoopy. Well, we got- Wait, what is this on the ground? Hey, yo. Is that oof? It's ketchup. It's probably ketchup because they knew I wanted fries delivered to my room. Wait, this is really scary. I feel like somebody's going to jump out behind us. Uh, wait, why is this so scary? Wait, but we got- Dude, we got like the, the big room at the hotel. Yeah, we got the suite. We got the big boy room. 
Wait, what? Oh, no. What is that? Is that a snake? They said no snakes! They lied! Oh, no. Huh? Okay. Guys, where We're did fine. that snake even go? Went under the chair. We're fine. into a snake in Roblox. Dude, that was so scary. What was that? And we're like outside the same hotel. Whoa, wait guys. Justin's a giant snake now and I have to try to like escape out of this house. Adam's gotta try to escape. Whoa, there's a bunch of people in this house. Whoa, this is insane. You've met your match, Adam. I might oof one of your friends right here. No, Justin, don't do that. I wanna see what it looks like when I oof, dude. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna drop a trap. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know how snakes do that? Yeah, but you're never gonna catch me. I will get you, Adam. I will get you. Oh, I gotta open the door. Okay, dude, this game is crazy, dude. We turn into a snake, dude. Yeah, guys, this game is awesome. What was that giant snake that just oofed us, man? What was that? I don't know, but I was saying, yeah, that hotel is really creepy. They said they had a 99% chance of no snakes. How come we ran into the 1% snake? <laughs> I just oofed another one of your friends, Adam. Yeah. Justin. Yeah. Be a nice snake. A snake. <laughs> You'll never get me, Adam. You'll never get me. You'll never get out of here. I hope you'll never get out of here alive. You might oof my friends, but I'm way too sneaky to ever get caught by you. Okay, it looks like Adam has another friend over here who's doing really good. <laughs> Unless I catch him right here. Uh-oh. Unless I catch him right here. <laughs> Justin, stop. Snake! I'm saying, like, when you get bit by a snake in that game, like, it literally turns you to a snake. Dude, that's what I'm saying. That snake was huge. That was nuts. Yeah, that was a scary snake. I thought they just delivered some ketchup to my room <laughs> for room service, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was oof. Yeah, you're right. Why was the snake in my room of all rooms? Yeah, I don't know. I gotta find Adam. Oh, he's not where I thought he would be. Oh, well. Are you upstairs? It's okay. I checked the potty. He wasn't there. No, I'm not in the potty, I, got, I was gonna check. Oh, there you are. No, no. Sydney! Stop. Sydney! <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna get you, Adam. I'm gonna get you. Right! I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Wait, I'm actually kind of close to escaping. No, you're not, Adam. You're not even close. <laughs> Sydney! Oh, I juked Justin. Yeah, you didn't I see you? <laughs> you didn't juke nothing. <laughs> okay, Adam's got a friend over here. I think one of you is going to oof here. It's not going to be me. I think one of you is going to oof right here. There's nothing you can do about it. I don't think so, Justin. Not, what if I spam traps right here? Wait, don't do that, please. Yeah, you're oof now, Adam. You're oof now. I know you went down this little, this little cubby. No. I know you did it. <laughs> I know you did it. I know you did it, dude. All right, I got the pink key now. All right, I know where Adam's at. I know where Adam's at. He's right here. He's right here. I got... Oh! Wait, she sprayed me with the no snake spray. Whoa! Nice! All right, now is our chance, guys. I got to escape from the evil giant Justin snake. You'll never escape from this snake hotel. <laughs> You'll never eat snake from the snake hotel. <laughs> I'm over here? No, he's not. Okay, I had to double check. No, I'm not in the bathroom. I know, I know you just were, though. I know you were. I know you were. All right, guys, I'm actually getting really close to escaping. No, you're not, Adam. No, you're not. I got to stop him. I got to stop him. All right, I got the TNT. I'm running. Could this be it, guys? This cannot be it. I know where Adam is. I know where he is. Well, 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 Adam. Justin, are you going to be nice to me? Well, well, well. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll be nice to you. You're going to give me a hug? Yeah, sure. I'll be nice As to the you. snake? I'll give you a little <laughs> slippery hug. Hey, you're just near the exit. Hey, 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 there you are, Adam. <laughs> Run! Justin, stop doing that. You put a trap down. Yep, you'll never, you'll never get out of here live. There we go, there we go, there we go. Goodbye, Adam. Explode. Goodbye, Adam. Okay, that exploded. Oh, man, wait, I still need the hatchet. Justin, stop doing that. You're not a snake. I got bitten by the snake and I turned into one. Oh, you need the hatchet, I guess, huh? Yes, I do. Oh, I happen to know exactly where that is. Why did you put so many traps here? I, I happen to know exactly where that is. <laughs> this person's being smart. Your friend's being really smart. They know where to go. I know where Adam just got trapped. Uh-oh. There you are, Adam. No, Justin. Justin. I know where Adam's going. He's going to the potty. Stop! That's exactly where I would expect Adam to be going. <laughs> Exactly what I would expect out of an angel. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, yeah. I knew it. I knew where Adam would be. 
I know where Adam do be. Oh, no! It's over! Stop, stop, stop! Yeah! you with the snake spray. They sprayed you. Wait, your friend is a pro gamer. Hey, shout out to that player. How did they, they rescued Aina? I said thank you. Are you serious? Guys, that was insane. Wait, shout out that person. They are an actual pro gamer, dude. I didn't even know you could do that. Dude, we might actually be able to escape. No chance. I think this is it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah go for it, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Get that, get that, get that. She got the spray. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's what snakes do. All right, Justin was able to beat me, but can he get the friend in the game? I'm gonna let him go. They're pros, dude. They tried to save you. I think their spray was on cooldown, so they couldn't get out. Wow. But now they're gonna have to go back and get the hatchet. Oh, you're right. Which was all the way upstairs. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be able to escape. This is crazy, man. Guys, I cannot believe I literally got turned into a snake in Roblox. Yeah. After playing that game, dude. That's why you don't want to get bit by a snake. You don't want to get bit by a snake at 3 a.m., dude. Especially not at 3 a.m. You really don't, dude. Now, where'd you put the hatchet? The hatchet was in the bathroom. Yep, exactly. <laughs> oh, they escaped. They made it. Wow, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LangyBoxShop.com and get LangyBox plushies. Let's go, dude. That was awesome. That yeah. Was some, that was some high-quality gameplay right there. Hey, again, shout out to them. They literally saved Adam, dude. Right, what do you want to That's do now? nuts, man. Alright, well, uh, you already know we came in here and we got turned into a snake! Uh, I'm gonna go eat some cake! <laughs> <laughs>